Since last couple of months, OnePlus is trying to implement lots of new features to their current flagship duo OnePlus 3 and 3T in the form of Open Beta Update. Recently on 1st June, OnePlus released Open Beta version 17 and 8 for OnePlus 3 and 3T respectively, which brings lots of new features and improvements to the table. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys in this video. Additionally, I will also show you a simple and easy method to update your device to this Open Beta update in the second half of the video. So now with that being said, let's start. So first let's talk about the newly added features. The biggest change in this update is the implementation of new ambient display 2.0. Previously you had to tap the screen once while ambient display is on to active the screen. But now a double tap is required in order to active your screen. Additionally, now you also have a new feature called Lift Up Display which basically turns on the screen when the phone is lifted and after using this new feature, I was really surprised at how well it is working. Every time I lift up my phone, it automatically triggers the ambient display which I think is kind of cool and it also lets you to catch up with your notification without even touching your phone. I think these measures has been implemented to prevent accidental waking up of a screen when pulling the phone out of your pocket. And this will also improve your battery at a certain extent, at least in theory, because lesser the number of times you wake up the screen, more battery you will save. Another cool new feature that has been added to this update is that now you have the ability to change the fonts. If you go to the setting menu and scroll down, here you will find a new option called font in the customization section. But as of now, you only have two options to choose from. You can either select Roboto or you can go for stock OnePlus Slate. We don't get too many font options, but it's really good to know that OnePlus is trying to make their Oxygen OS more customizable, for that a big thumbs up. Moving forward to the next feature, which is a kind of very basic change. Now you have the ability to share short on OnePlus. Now for those who don't know what that is, if you tap and hold the home screen, here you will find an option called wallpaper. Click on that and here you will have short on OnePlus. This is basically a showcase of images that are shot on any OnePlus devices and now you have the ability to share these images which was previously not present. So these are 4 new features that has been added to this new update but that's not all. Except these features there are some UI improvements that also has been done in Gallery, File Manager, Weather and Recorder but these changes are minor so you won't even notice them. Now for those who are quite conscious about the security, you will be glad to know that OnePlus has passed this update with the latest security patch of 1st May. Rather than that, there are a couple of promises regarding the enhanced launching speed of third-party apps which means the launching of third-party apps will be shorter and now the background and foreground processes are well optimized. Except these changes and optimization, I found a bug which is related to this time widget at the top right corner. It is not showing the correct time, as you can see over here, it's showing 4.54, which is not correct, but in the lock screen, it's showing the correct time. I have also tried to set the time manually, but it is running 2.5 hours faster than the actual time, but I think this will be fixed in the next update. So guys, these are the changes and optimization that has been added to this new update. Hope OnePlus will release the stable official update soon. But if you guys are impatient as me and want to try this update right now, then just follow these simple and easy steps correctly. The prerequisites are First, I will highly recommend you to take a backup of your device before proceeding. Second, your battery should be at least 60% charged. The first thing that you have to do is to download the updater ROM for your OnePlus 3 or 3T. After that you have to download the fastboot zip file, I will leave the download link for both the files in the description box so do check out. Once both the files are downloaded, put them in a separate folder. Now extract the fastboot zip file in the same folder where you put the ROM zip file. Once that is done, head over to the device setting and find about section and tap the build number several times to enable developers option. Now go back and click on developers option and enable USB debugging and connect your device to PC via USB cable and now you will see the drivers will start installing. Once that is done switch off your device then hold power button plus volume down for few seconds until you see the OnePlus logo. Now you have successfully booted into OnePlus recovery. Now select English as your primary language then from here select install from ADB then select OK. Now your screen will be prompted as you are in side load mode. 
Now you have to connect your device to the PC via USB cable and head over to the folder where you put the ROM zip file and extracted fastboot zip file. Now hold shift and right click on mouse and click this option which says open command window here. This will basically open the command window. Now type adb devices and press enter to confirm that USB drivers are installed properly. This will basically list your device. Now type adb space sideload space oneplus and press tab. This will automatically fill the file name of the rom zip file. Now press enter and the rom installation will start. This will take up to 10 minutes. So relax and do not remove the USB cable otherwise your device will get bricked. Once the installation is completed, your device will automatically reboot and again the first boot will take more time than the normal. After boot is finished, you have successfully updated your OnePlus 3 or 3T. Now if you want to know what are the major changes in this new update, then do check out the description box because I have made a separate video on that. So guys, if you like this video and find it useful, then do subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this. And don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.